What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to create a fillable form on Microsoft Word. The benefit on Microsoft Word is you don't have to pay for Adobe Acrobat Pro or whatever PDF fillable you know, form <coughs> things there are out there that make you pay, you know? And there are some free ones that are kind of finicky, but anyways, if you have Microsoft Word, which mostly everybody does, you can do it this way, and it'll work just fine for you guys. So the first thing you're going to want to do is fill out all the titles of the data that you're going to want to collect. I'm just going to do, you know, some here that I can show you different types of editable styles for the video, but that'll go quick. Okay, so I'm going to try to make this quick because I know I hate long videos on this stuff, and so do you guys, I'm sure. Go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and make sure the Developer tab is checked right here. You'll check that, and you'll press OK, and it'll pop up over here once you do. <coughs> okay, now, before you do anything here, you're going to want to have your cursor here, press Tab, insert some blank little underscores here or it can be really anything because we're going to delete them in a couple seconds anyways okay so this this next step makes it just easier for you and the person filling out the form you're going to want to highlight all your data go to insert table convert text to table and you're going to want to make sure tabs is selected here. That's why when your cursor was up here, you press tab. So it'll create a different row of the column or a different column in the table. So tabs, okay. See, so now we have two columns. One for the title of the column and two for the spaces they're going to fill out. So you can delete these now. It's just just fine here and I mean you can have as many as you want okay so name next step type in where you want the user to be able to fill out their information in this case over here go up to the developer tab click right here plain text content control you can also use the rich text this will allow them to be able to use bold or italicized or underlined text but most of the time they're not going to need to do that so use plain text insert here click design mode this helps for XML mapping and stuff like that if you know what you're doing it's also just an easier view for the creator mode side of things and so once you have this you'll go to make sure that this is highlighted go to properties and you will title what you want it to be named. So for this we'll go first name. Little abbreviation tag. Okay. And highlight this and change it to what the user filling in the form will see. Okay guys, this is what the user will see. <coughs> so now you can also go over here and you can insert another one of these that says last name or you can create another thing blank thing here that can specifically say last name so it'll be first name last name however you wish to choose to do it it's up to you anyways you go to address insert plain text make sure this is highlighted properties address line one because you know how there's an address line one and two <coughs> okay highlight here for what the user sees address line one alright now here I'm going to show you something different so instead of comp actually I'll add a line and we'll do member ship type so let's say this is people who, let's say you're a gym owner or manager and 
you're sending this out for people trying to get some data for your your users of your gym and there's different membership types you offer for the users of the gym okay different tiers that they earn say some get just the gym some get the gym the pool and the sauna some get the gym the pool the sauna the tanning bed the special locker room etc you know you know what I mean so membership type you'll go down to drop down list content control highlight this as usual make sure it's only in here properties this will be membership type okay and this is where you can add your values okay so it's going to be a drop down box for people filling in your form so on their screen when you send this to them they're going to be able to click right here and there will be a drop down box of whatever you add for so in this instance it's going to be the membership types so you'll add the membership types that they'll see so let's say ten dollar basic add and as then you go to add we'll do $25 deluxe add okay and then we'll add say one more just for the video we'll do $50 premium okay and then just okay then always make sure to change this for what the user will see okay so now when they click right here on the form on their screen it'll drop down 10 25 and 50 dollar memberships whichever they are they can choose and lastly say the date of when they signed up or the date of when they're filling out the form doesn't really matter you know there's usually gonna be a date field on most forms so for that there's a little thing right here called date picker and we'll go to properties date sorry date uh, we'll go month day and year okay and you can choose from all these different options uh, of how you want them to be able to choose so we'll just go the default I like the look of this one and now on their side of the form they'll click here and there will be a little calendar that they can choose the date of when they signed up for the membership or today's date or whatever you're wanting to do alright so now your forms pretty much done there is one more thing you're going to want to do though you're going to want to go up here to restrict editing edit restrictions click this this drop down box filling in forms so what this does is when you send this form out to people they won't be able to tamper with the name address or they won't be able to write down here or in, make changes to your form the only thing they'll be able to edit is the actual spaces of where there's fillable information on the form and you can even set a password to that so you can lock it and unlock it anytime you want if you really want to and yeah guys sorry I made it as quick as I could but that's how you make a form in Microsoft Word and you can make this look as nice as you want and it looks very clean like none of this will show up so you go click design mode so this is what they'll see and see membership type drop down there's all this the date is right here drop down here's the calendar so yeah it'll look clean just uncheck design mode and this is what they'll see you can add your title and whatever alright guys I appreciate you watching this video it helps me out a ton uh, I'm looking to do a ton of other how-to videos uh, when it comes to Adobe, Microsoft Office, anything you guys want to know, how-to stuff, click the like button on this video, subscribe for more, and uh, comment anything you're having trouble with or you'll, you want to see, and uh, I'll get a video up for you guys because I'm doing this specifically to help everyone out there. Alright, I appreciate it guys. Peace out.